Hello to all my queers and dears who may or may not be here. Welcome back to the stream where we play nonviolent games. Games that reward the player for intellectual and or emotional engagement rather than for participating in combat or other forms of violent gameplay loops. We're back with Back to the Future of the Game today. Tuesday, August 25th, 1931. And yes, we just saved, uh, or, well, got, we got Danny Parker back on his feet, basically. Right, Artie just got back in town, right? Guess we need to find him. Do anything with this? Testing, 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 testing. Sibilance, sibilance. Hey, hey. Playing quit playing equipment. with my equipment. Sorry. Sorry. Never mind. Hey boy, how you doing? Hey boy, how you doing? Good dog. Good dog. Artie's pipe. Let's find him. Hey boy, take away, hey boy, for, this. Take away for this. Gotta love that nose. I've been laying, I've been low, laying low, officer, officer but, but I've got to go to the pictures in once in a while. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. officer. I'll take it from here, but... But... Talk of the Majestic. Of the majestic away away from prying eyes. Okay. Yeah, Einstein. Yeah, you Einstein. Done you done good. So, and it's gonna get his big idea while watching Frankenstein, huh? I guess that explains a lot about Doc. <laughs> yeah, it kinda does. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Good news, Doc. Good news, Doc. Parker's ready to arrest Tannen, and it looks like I didn't go stag to the prom. Wonderful. What about Miss Trotter? I'm, still working, I'm still working on her. Should we be worried, about, we your be worried about your younger self and Ender Strickland? That is a peculiar space wrinkle time. in the space-time continuum, but I'm, sure but I'm sure nothing will come of it. I can't possibly imagine myself becoming attached to a woman like that. Yeah, she's not great. Still I'm still a little by confused all by all this time Don't travel. Worry Don't worry about temporal Just mechanics. Focus Just focus on Miss Trotter Parker. and Officer Parker. He's already still here. He's, already still He's, here. In He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open hey, up. Open you up. Gangster You've got a gangster down. to bring Is down. It Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? Sylvia? No, it's time, no, for, you it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie, Trixie, Trixie says she's got something, got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she? Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate hey, with this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids speakeasy. 
So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh uh. No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. I don't know how you talked me into this. Just stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary. <gasps> Sagan. Where's Kid? Oops. Don't worry. Uh, when did Doc and Marty join the mob? Is Trixie on her way? Uh, they did not. Uh, Marty is undercover. Because some of the stuff we did... Welcome back, Welcome back ...previously sir. accidentally caused a branching... What's it gonna um, take to get Trixie to squeal on a kid? ...caused a branching timeline where the Tannen family was bigger and also a crime family and it was an awful timeline because they took over hill valley uh and so uh the problem is we need so we had to go back to back in time to 1931 to get make sure kid tannen gets arrested like he's supposed to um so that's what we've been doing and so marty went undercover to infiltrate the speakeasy um, that Kid Tannen runs, uh, a Trixie? A yeah. Trixie? Yeah. Guess who's waiting, Guess in, the who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Huddy? The one and only. One and only. It wasn't easy, to, it wasn't track easy to track him down. I had to. I had Come to. up for me, cue balls. Taking I'm taking a smoke break. Had a girl. Had a girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's hope we do. Hey, you! Huh? Yeah, yeah, jerk! I saw you making, I saw eyes, you making eyes at my Eunice! Sorry, pal. Sorry, I pal. I don't have fight. time for a fight. Why, Why you? I'll never get I'll to, get never get to Carnegie Hall, Hall at this rate. All right, fella. All right, fella. I think you're night. done for tonight. Hey, what do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Me? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Nothing. I. Trixie? Trixie? Break silver, break silver, ball. Whatever you say. Whatever babe. you say, babe. What was that? What was that? Uh, Trixie? Uh, Trixie? Yeah. yeah. What happened in the alley, happened with, in Arthur? The alley with Arthur? I don't want to talk about it. Hey, your songs hey, seem, your to, have seem to have a big effect Parker on Officer there. Parker over there. I am humbled, I am humbled and, and gratified that my musical have gifts fallen have fallen upon such receptive ears. What about your insurance, what about your insurance policy? policy? There ain't no insurance there policy. No insurance policy. Tonight, After tonight, I'm tossing it in the furnace and burning it up. Oh, that's not good. Come on, Trixie, can't you tell me what happened out there? No! Then at least give me the evidence you got on Kid. No, I need to deal with myself. As soon as tonight's set is over, his evidence goes up in smoke. That's, that's very bad. Break a leg out there. Thanks. That's a very, very bad development. Now, I appreciate that Q-Ball has, has dreams beyond being a gangster. That's nice. You know, getting to Carnegie Hall. Like, he's a musician. That's nice. It's just nice. You know? I like him. Even though he's, you know, a murderer. Artie? Artie? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny subpoena answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this, the little worms whisper in a whale conquistadorial like with my Trixie. Oh no. 
Naturally, I pull, Naturally, out, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head, which causes Artie's nose to start bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then, <laughs> and then, what? <laughs> Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live. <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on, knees, down on the knees, crying and begging for McFly's, begging for McFly's life. life. So, uh, what, so did uh, what did you do? What could I do? I, I, fired, two I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Oh, that, was oh, that was merciful. I got plenty of mercy. I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now, Besides, now Trixie, Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always, always collects on his debts. On his debts. Always. always. So that's why she's burning the evidence. Welcome back, sir. Boss? Boss? You mind? You mind? I'm trying to have a good, time, to have a good time, here. time here. I think you'll want to see, see this. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, That's just it boss. It's all, it's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. Oh. What's it gonna take, What's to, it gonna get take to get Trixie to squeal on a kid? Trixie? Uh, Trixie? Yeah. I talked to kid. I talked to kid. Oh. oh. He told me about he Artie. Oh. oh. It was awesome of you to plead for his life. And it was awesome of Kid to spare it. So you see why I gotta get rid of all the dirt I got on Kid. As long as he's loyal to me, I gotta stay loyal to him. I don't know if he's a smart businessman so much as he is a ruthless one. About Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? Oh yeah, he is oh, okay. Yeah, he is Are, you okay. Sure? Are you sure? Believe me, if he wasn't okay, okay, wasn't I'd, okay be I'd be the first to know. About Artie McFly. About Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? I think something, I think something bad, might've bad might have happened to him. You mean, you mean Kid went back on his promise? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah that's right. Uh, that's right. Oh, I know. That rattlesnake kid! He can't get away with this! You gonna turn over the evidence you got against him? Am I ever! Just watch me! Wait a minute. What evidence do you have that kid bumped Artie off? Um, it's just a hunch. Keep your hunches for the racetrack. It ain't nice to get a girl all worked up over unsubstantiated rumors. Okay, so Kid spared Artie's life, but that doesn't make him a saint. Believe me, no one knows that better than me. But if Kid can let Artie off the hook, I guess I can let him off the hook. Know what I mean? Break a leg out there. Thanks. Yeah, I guess so, but I don't know. It's not really a... It's not really a business acumen thing so much as it is just a... I don't know, bad person thing. <laughs> I guess that's, grandpa's, I guess that's nose grandpa's nose blood. What if? Yeah, I yeah, could put blood, could put on, Artie's blood on Artie's pipe and then Trixie would think, Trixie would think nah, 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 that wouldn't fool she her. Knows she she knows she pipe. gave me that pipe. Oh, hmm. It's good to see Dad in one piece again. It's crazy how much he looks like Grandpa Arthur. That's an idea. Welcome back, sir. Welcome back, sir. So we know that... What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on a kid? We know that, um... 
the uh, characters, caric caricatures on the wall are of people that Kid has killed. So perhaps... You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Sure. Hey, that looks, hey, like, that that looks like that. Fly Artie McFly think. think. I never noticed that before. I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you hey, give him a hat, like, give him a hat like Artie wears? Voila! Voila! Nice job! Nice job! Now go tell them nah, chumps at the New Yorker. Sorry about this, Dad. Sorry, lady. Sorry, lady. I didn't mean to get your boyfriend kicked out of the club. Oh, water under the bridge. You want to keep his seat warm? Uh, thanks anyway. Trixie? Uh, Trixie? Yeah. About Artie McFly. About Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? I think something, I think bad, something might bad might have happened to him. Think? You think? Yeah. yeah. And you think, and you did. think so Kid you did it. Think so you I'd think better I'd better hand over what I got yeah. on him. Yeah. Well, I think, well, I you'd, think better you'd better come back when you got something a little more solid. No, but I... Ah, oh, here we go. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? Artie! Artie! I don't believe it! We had a deal! Artie was supposed to be safe! I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Kid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, Copper! Nice. What happened to my louse of an ex-boyfriend? I, I don't know. Rats. I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. In yeah, but in the meantime... All right, everyone. Party's over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. Speakeasy? You're mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream parlor. Nice try, you. Out! be willing to help uh, defuse this little situation? I don't know. The Valenti mob doesn't like being associated with losers. Hey, we ain't begging here. Kid just thought JJ might like a piece of the action. Especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist. Wait, you mean... Doc? Doc? You ain't with the Valenti gang at all, are you? What do you know about the arsonist? Come on, you. Off to the station house. Kid's gonna get you, rat. He's gonna get all of you. Yeah, yeah. What? That's that. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley police force is out looking for Kid and his goons. You don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Uh, never mind. Don't worry. We've got the entire town square sealed off. If Tannen's within a mile of here, we'll find him eventually. 
I don't think we have time for eventually. Parker must have confiscated this hooch from the speakeasy. It's locked. It's locked. But, because I was thinking, there's that secret room that, uh... Hey, Danny! Hey, Danny! Sorry, pal. Sorry, pal. Can't talk right now. I've got a report to write up for the chief. Kid Tanner. Guess he dropped, this on, dropped this on his way out. It's empty. It's empty. Figures. Figures. Okay. So now we can get Ian. Cabbage crates. Now. Irving Kid, Irving Kid Tannen. Tannen. Jeez, the kid ever clean this thing? Like smells like booze. armpits and booze. I like Trixie's version, like Trixie's better, version than better than Edna's, kind of but it's downer. kind of a downer. Grandpa Artie's, Grandpa Artie's pipe. pipe. You know, I could barely Grandpa remember Grandpa from, from when I was a kid, but like this him. smells like him. Heavy. Heavy. Do, I really Do I really look like that? In gratitude for your continued service, JJ Valenti. You know, a cigarette lighter shaped like a gun seems like a really bad idea. It's empty. Over here. Struck down, kid. All right. All right. I really don't think Tan, really don't think Tan and the Doc are with Herbert Hoover, Heine. Okay, 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 I'll, okay check I'll check it out. A button. A button. It's empty. So what's it's the empty. Point? So what's the point? All right, Doc. All right, Doc. Here I come. Callahan. What are you doing here? Uh, never mind. Never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsonist. Edna? I caught a plant in dynamite while he was clearing out the soup kitchen. Guess Sagan was innocent after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus. Tell it to St. Peter's sister. What's all this? Parker? Tannen, you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Hey, look over there! Watch out! Watch out! Uh oh. That's not good. Give it up, Tannen. Give it up, Tannen. The alley's blocked off and so are the roads out of town. It's over. Over? Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. That's not good. Heavy. Hey, moron! Hey, moron! Oh, moron, this! Great comeback. Really great. Um, make it easy on, make it easy on yourself, yourself. Tannen. Tannins never make things easy. Oh, that's true. He's not about to let me in. Like a tree and die, rat. Whoa. Whoa. He's, not He's not about to let me in. I can't get to the car. I can't get to the car from here. No one messes with Tannin's hooch is, leaking, Tannin's hooch is leaking all over the place. I'd better be careful, better be careful with this stuff. The doc can turn it into rocket, rocket fuel. Happen. Who knows what'll happen dynamite. if it gets into that dynamite? Oh, that's an idea. Kid Tannin. Kid Tannin. Bowling for Tannin. What 
happens if we light it? Hey, there's an idea. Hey, there's an idea. But not while Edna's in there. That's a good point. Uh, uh. So how do we get her out is the question. Are you shooting at me? What should I do? What should I do? You have a gun? Not a real one. Beats me. Okay. Okay. Okay, Edna now has Well not a way out necessarily, but uh <coughs> I could do this all night, Parker! Make it easy on yourself, Tannen. Tannens never make things that easy. That is so true. No time for word games. No one messes, no with, one messes with Kid Tannis. Hey, there's an idea. But not while Edna's in there. Yeah, so she's not out yet then. Okay. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. You know how this'll you know end. not about to let me in. So how do we get in there? Are you shooting at me? Are you shooting at me? Are you shooting at me? The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. I think I'll hold on to these lyrics for posterity. I could do this all night, Parker! Matches it, say. Make it easy, Make it easy on Tannen. yourself, Tannen. Sweet. Hmm. Awesome. Awesome. That's not... No one messes, no with, one messes Kid with Kid Tannen! Trail of explosive booze leading right into the garage. So how do we get Edna out is the question. There's only a few people, maybe an animal or two, who'd be interested in Grandpa's smelly old pipe. But this isn't one of them. Come on, kid. You know how this will be. I don't think they'd be interested in my caricature. Hey, kid! Hey, kid! Lead, phony! Are you shooting at me? Are you shooting at me? Go, Tannen! Go, Tannen! Make like a tree and die, rat! Okay, there we go. Hey, moron! Hey, moron! 
more on this. Good, we can get his focus over here. Go, Tannen. Make like a tree and die, rat. Hey, had a girl. Make it easy. Make it easy. Hey, kid, let phony. Trail of explosive booze leading right into the garage. Okay, now I think we can light it on fire. So, so I'm afraid I'm finding it difficult to concentrate with all the bullets flying around my head, Mr. Callahan. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Right. God, I better just get rid of it then. Oh crap. He's getting away. He's getting away. Oh no. Yeah. No. No. There. Good as new. Oh look, Hannah, judge's son. All right, Parker, I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada, or the brown kid gets it. Doc. Are you? Doc? Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through a radio apparatus my younger self has installed in the rocket car. What's going on up there? It's not good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Right, stop. No kidding. Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I? You! Oh, that's useful. Emmett. Oh, that's less useful. You're the cause of all of this, ain't you? Should have known. You don't look like any Callahan I ever seen. Yeah, well, what kind of gangsters named Irving? Um. No one makes a fool out of me, you backstabbing twerp! Guess I Got any last words? Got any last words? Rat? None that you'd understand. Is that where you bore me to death? The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. It's empty, so what's the point? Come on, bring it on, you big ape. Onto these lyrics for posterity. Come on, bring it on, you big ape. Tannen, 
I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax evasion? Tax evasion? Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Trixie? What you get for killing Artie, you bastard? What? I didn't... Trixie? Artie? All right, Grandpa. Before a car. Before a car. I, believe I, I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out-of-control failure. I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. But first, I think we should take in a movie. All yours, Mr. Brown. I think you'll like it. It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Come on, Heine. Come on, Heine. Let's go find Doc. Thanks for letting me fly the DeLorean, Doc. This thing's a blast. Are you absolutely sure that everything's back to normal? Totally. Kids going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. And we remembered Einstein this time, too. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. You feel yourself fading out of existence? No. And as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Sowing oats? Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna. Emmett and Edna. They're gonna go see Frankenstein together. That's... that's... odd. Where'd you go, Doc? Martin McFly, age 18. Shall we start the next episode? We're only about a half hour in, so... Seems about right to me. Let's get started. Three, Citizen Brown.
Citizen Brown. That's Doc, all right, but what's going on here? Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. It's jammed. Could you give me a... Jennifer? So, funny thing. So, for Back to the Future Part 2 and 3, um... I don't remember why exactly, but uh, the uh, actress who played Jennifer changed. Um, might have been a scheduling issue or something, but I don't remember. Uh, anyways, they actually got the original Jennifer back, and yes, no, we didn't fix everything, and in fact, it's actually just quite awful. Uh, we may have screwed everything up big time. This is the design dumbest ever. design ever. Jennifer! I Jennifer! Need I need some Martin? help! Martin? It is you! It is, is, you. That is that a DeLorean? Yes! No! Yes! I mean, no! I mean, sort of. You, sort don't, of. Remember you don't remember the DeLorean? Well, I'll certainly, well, I'll remember, certainly it remember it now! It's sticking out of it's the, sticking out the friggin' billboard! billboard. Never mind that. Uh, never mind that. Just okay. give me a hand, okay? So who are you supposed Luke to be? Or Luke or Bo? This isn't, isn't funny, Jennifer. Oh man. Oh man. What's the date? What? what? That's something I should, be, something asking I should be asking you. you. You've probably, You've wrecked, probably your wrecked your head. What's the date, Jennifer? What's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year. 1986. 1986. Duh. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. Jennifer, you look Jennifer, so, you look so different. different. That's the general, That's idea, the general of idea of being a nonconformist. That's, not That's not what I meant. What are you getting, at? Are you getting at? What's with the attitude? What's with the attitude? I'm not having this, I'm not having this argument again. You argued, this you argued about this before? I'm guessing you, I'm won, guessing the you won the argument. What are you wearing, What are you wearing, you Jen? So you look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien, alien, alien to the likes of you, dork. What'd you do to your hair? What'd you do to your Helter hair? Skelter. Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair, the same dye, hair I dye I always use. Never mind. I Never mind. Really I gotta get out of this Good car. Idea. Good idea. What are you doing down there? What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever, that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical, anyway, what's the technical term, for term for attempting to jump your DeLorean, DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you, Where did you get even DeLorean? get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? Is it stolen? That's, that's a little complicated. I bet. Can you help me down? Can you help me Why down? Why don't you just I'll jump? Break I'll break my neck. And? And? You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All, uh -uh. All I have is this rusty wrench, wrench thing I found in the dirt. Tire iron. Tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back oh, off, back Martin. Off, Martin. This is my, my witch macaw. What, what do you give me for it? May I please have, May the, I please tire have the tire iron? The tire who? The, tire who? the big metal the thing, metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Oh. All right, let me think this through. Don't strain, Don't your, brain, strain your brain, Geekzilla. Jennifer! Jennifer! What? what? Jennifer, please. Jennifer, this please. Is this is serious. This tire thing this really, tire has, thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. At the moment, yes. Then it better be a then pretty it good trade. Good trade. <laughs> All right, let me think this through. Don't strain, Don't your, brain strain your brain, Geekzilla. Oh, what gives? Oh, what gives? I thought I fixed Jennifer's existence. I don't need to read this anymore. I lived it. I lived it. Hill 
Valley crime. Little Valley all crime at all time low. No joke. No joke. Irving Kid Irving Tannen. Kid Tannen. I guess the flask. Because she's not going to be interested in any of the other stuff we got. Jennifer! Jennifer! This is all I got. This is all I got. Is there anything, is there anything in it? Give me here. Give me here. Uh, uh, like smells like armpits and booze. Irving, Irving Kid Tannen, Tannen? Tannen? The gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just, long have, story. The Can I just have the tire iron now? Iron now? Heads up! Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now oh, what? great. Now what? Oops. Oh. Oh. Well, your my dorkness, debt my debt to society is paid. As for you, As for good, you luck good luck with your car. Way to stick it to, Way big, to, stick brother. It to big brother. Just don't expect, Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything, anything between us, dig? It doesn't change what? Jennifer. Look, Jennifer, I think, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift oh, in the town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Climb on in. Hey, Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? Probably. Oh, shit. Back and fix it now. Doc, I could really, Doc, I really use your help right about now. These walls could these walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? one of the hover wheels work. Uh, check, uh, check. check. Sibilance. 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 Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. <laughs> oh, hi. hi. Can you buzz me in? Sisters must, must check in at the north oh. gate. Oh. Northgate? I'm not walking, I'm not walking around clear Hill around Hill Valley. There's gotta be another, way. Gotta be another way. Subtle, Real Marty. subtle, Marty. Green Doc, I've had the worst luck in trying to fix all the problems they've caused in Hill Valley in 1931. We thought all was well after getting Kid Tan and his crime syndicate destroyed. Now get around, seeing to return to his scientific endeavors. Marty's grandfather was alive and happy. What could they possibly have missed? Something, however, is certainly amiss. Marty has crash landed in a strange new hill valley. Doc and Einstein had disappeared during the time during the jump to 1986, leaving Marty for the worst. It seems that this alternate timeline features a hill valley run by a first citizen Brown. It's Doc, at least some crazy version of him. Marty has to find this citizen Brown and convince him to help Marty get back in 1931. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... That's not good. That's not good. I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still under warranty. I guess technically it's way under warranty. True. Doc got this way in the future. 
volts. 12 volts? Wait, this is the car battery? It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. The wheel must have been running off the battery. So... I don't know. Can the wheel help us? Okay, good. This could be useful. Now, think, Marty. Think. Oh, I think. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Whoa! Nice! Sweet. Far out. Far out. Okay, Doc, let's nightmare see what kind of nightmare alternate, alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Okay, Marty. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clubs. Just take a deep breath and remember, you gotta find Doc. That's not good. What's going on here, Doc? Jeez, my Jeez, Hill, Valley, my Hill Valley, Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, Watch where you're citizen. going Sorry. citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker. Uh, Mr. Parker? That's Officer, Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... I, uh it's Thursday. It's yeah. yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. Shirt Thursday. You're, out You're out of uniform. That's a violation, That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. None. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great. I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus peanuts? Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Uh, can you tell me where I could find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right, working at the courthouse.
heavy. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. I'm all for recycling, but this is out of control. Are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? It makes a difference. Remember that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically delete litter. That's... E. Brown Industries. E. Brown Industries. That's hopeful. The Comformists. The comb Their stylists always have such clever names. Just like coffee shops. Ministry of Tourism. I can't see why people would want a vacation here. Said that. Attempting to destroy public landmarks is a violation of C64. I wasn't trying to destroy it. Take your demerit. On the 25th day of August this year of our Lord, 1931, the capture and incarceration of Irving Kidd Tannen and the disbanding of his criminal syndicate by the heroic efforts and ingenious mind of our beloved first citizen, Emmett Lathrop Brown, by virtue of his experimental rocket car. Edna must have written that. Citizen Plus. Look around, Look around yourself. Breathe in the fresh air. Enjoy the immaculate scenery and architecture. You are standing among the denizens of the most sociologically advanced city in the world. Hill Valley, a perfect place to live. Let's take a moment to look up at the city's centerpiece, the courthouse, with its ornate clock tower. Look closely. Do you see a silhouette behind the clock? That's our beloved first citizen, Emmett L. Brown, toiling away on new ideas to make Hill Valley the city of tomorrow, today. Stemley's staycation. The heck is a staycation? All bank. citizens I bank. I don't like the overuse citizen. of the word citizen in this timeline. Uh, it's not feeling great. Free soy dog samples. samples. Take one. Take one. I, guess hmm. I guess they ran out. 
soups and more. Wholesome soups, fresh vegetables, and soy-based imitation meats. Good thing I'm not hungry. Hey, can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, hey, my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchlay. Now eat it, bay, and let me catch some Z's. Remember to keep your name badge on at all times. Not only does it make every citizen seem like your neighbor and friend, it grants you passage at the three main city access points. Hill Valley is the country's first fully incorporated gated city. In 1966, Hill Valley petitioned for a special regional exemption from state legislation. Using a tax and property law loophole, the city of Hill Valley managed to consolidate itself into a gated community with special allowances for business and residential zoning. To date, we are the safest and most self-sustaining city in the United States. Bureau of, of Discipline. That just makes me, think, just about makes me think about high school. Let's head over to the courthouse. Since that's where Doc is, presumably. Or at least Citizen Brown. I'm just standing here. Huh? Loitering, huh? What is this? What is this? It's a demerit. It's a demerit. No, loitering. no loitering. Get a move, so on, get a move on, citizen. You gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding. I've gotta finish my beat. Are you gonna make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. No, sir. That's right, citizen. That's right, citizen. <clears throat> I need to see Doc, or, uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? No, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. Voice sounds familiar. Yeah, it sounds like Edna. The older Edna. Biff? Doc? Doc? Wait! Doc! I wait! I need to talk to you. you. You are standing in 
front of the Hill Valley Courthouse. The original courthouse was built in 1885, just 20 years after Hill Valley's incorporation into the state of California. Though the courthouse holds the seat of the local government, it also has been used as a shelter during the recovery period following the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Most of Hill Valley's community is a result of this place San Franciscans planting roots after that dreadful disaster. In 1976, the downtown renovation project saw the first major additions made to the courthouse since its original construction. The courthouse was expanded with an additional 128 offices in the new flanking wings and a new mayoral office added to the original clock tower space. Look closely and you can still see some of the original courthouse's details preserved in the new international inspired facade. Hill Valley Courthouse, how may I... Look, I really need to see Citizen Brown. It's an emergency. Are you on fire? Of course not. Are you bleeding profusely on the pavement? No, but it's a... Then it's no emergency that couldn't wait for a scheduled appointment. Good day. Okay, let's go talk to Biff, I guess, since he was just seen with Doc. Biff? Hey, you're, hey, you're, you're, you're George, you're and, Lorraine's George and Lorraine's youngest. Mark, right? Mark, right? What? You, don't know what? Me. you don't know me? Only by reputation. Only by reputation. Brown, Brown, Cadet, of Brown Cadet of the Month, three months, three months running. Impressive. Impressive. Are you interested in the, Citizen, interested Plus in the Citizen Plus program? I suppose. Nice clothes. Nice clothes. Lose a bed or something? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone is wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. So I've heard. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's, always well there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian shirt Friday. Great. Great. What is this? What is this? Citizen Plus. Citizen Plus. It's, Citizen it's Citizen Brown's new re-education program. Re program. And I'm the first of Hill Valley's Plus. Citizen Plus. Yeah, pluses. Yeah, Re-education re -education program? program? What the hell? Please, don't, please, don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Re-education is never good. Ever. That is always code for something bad. Like... State-sponsored changing the way people think because they're too disobedient kind of bad. Listen, Biff, that, that car, car I saw you get out of, Doc was that Brown Doc there? Brown in there with you? Uh, Doc, <laughs> Doc. yeah, that should be his new nickname. But, but yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. Well, you got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, or uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real... You a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Into too much trouble. What with the booze, the party, and the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. You pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. I want to know more about Citizen Plus. Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? You said you get some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy deal. Just look at the state-of-the-art ticker. It's got all sorts of special modes programmed in. I still haven't figured out how to set the time. But I'm sure a smart guy like you could do it no problem. I mean, I hated Biff. Every, anyone 
would. But re-education... I don't care that this guy is nicer. The very existence of a re-education system is bad. <laughs> Now, that's not to say that having a system that helps people, you know, reform is bad. But it needs to be done with, like, empathy and helping people grow as they accept themselves and become more empathetic and stuff. And have a chance at a better life. And all that stuff. You know, like like therapy and, and stuff like that. Dealing with their shit. Re-education is generally not that. What do you gotta do to be, you a, citizen do to be a citizen plus? It starts, it with, starts an with an application. They take a complete, they medical, take a complete medical evaluation and give you a stack of contracts to fill out. That sounds boring already. Oh, sounds boring already. But you then, you get an appointment with Citizen Brown. Get about, get about two, two years. years. Two years? He's very busy, He's very keeping, busy Hill keeping Hill Valley running. running. I mean, the only time, I mean, the only time he deviates from his schedule is when some looney tune is running around demerits. racking up demerits. Yeah, fortunately, no. yeah, fortunately, that almost never happens. So what's the so point what's of Citizen the Plus? Point of Citizen Plus? Well, it may not be as noticeable for an upstanding citizen like yourself, but the hypnotherapy sessions help to tame the urges to break the rules. Whoa, whoa. Hypnotherapy? Well, sure, Martin. But it makes obedience automatic. Obedience? Some kind of brainwashing? That's a good way to think about it. Scrubbing all those nasty thoughts right out of your noggin. Well, that's fucked up. It's worth noting that hypnotherapy doesn't really work quite that way, but... I mean, maybe it could have been long enough about time. I don't know, it's messy. There is something that is repeated a lot, which is that hypnosis can't make you do anything you wouldn't normally do, which does apparently it is apparently less accurate than it's commonly repeated as, but, um, even so, like, I don't know. It's voluntary, it's voluntary right? right? Sure, for the pilot, yeah, sure for the pilot program, but eventually, but eventually it will be mandatory for everybody. Mandatory? mandatory. Are you nuts? Nah, I used to be nuts. <laughs> Now, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, I'm probably the sanest guy in Hill Valley. Okay, let's, okay. Stop, talking let's Citizen stop talking about right Citizen Plus right now. Okay. okay. So, you won't, break so you won't break any rules anymore? Can't. Can't. The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. How so? How so? Now I get physically, now I get physically Ill, if I Ill if I try to break a rule. How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. Sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. On oh, second thought, blah. Do you think I'd get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? Yeah, I guess, but why would you want to act like that? So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, Gosh, Martin I, I really don't like dredging up the past, but... All right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be, I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. So there's no booze in Hill Valley. Nope. I'm sure someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch him sooner or later. Why'd you 
Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, no, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am very, very ashamed. So there's no dogs in Hill Valley anymore? Yep, Citizen Edna says they carry diseases and steal shoes. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't... Hookers? Oh, no, 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 oh, no, like no, no, nothing like that. Just that I wasn't always, that I wasn't always discreet, discreet about, my about my affections. What? what? Public, displays Public displays of affection, of affection Martin. Martin. You know, so necking and that's such. Illegal? That's illegal? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You seriously got in trouble for PDAs? You bet. The Browns, the Browns always say that behaviors that excite your private should be kept in private. Or maybe it's just, or maybe it's just Citizen Edna who says that. Yeah, let's, let's change the subject. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like talking about my old nasty self. Used to be a real bruiser. That's all behind me now. So what? You wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. Oh, oh, don't torment me. See you later, Biff. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin. Bye, Martin. What's Jen up to now? Well, if Jen's a non-conformist, maybe she can help us break some rules. Problem? What's the deal, Jennifer? What's the deal, you Jennifer? Left you left me stranded outside, outside the city gates. Yeah, that was, yeah, pretty, rotten, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible, such a horrible role, role model. Better get away, before, better get away I before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what Look, you got, against, I don't know what you got, against, you got against me in this timeline. Uh, lately, uh, but, I'm lately but I'm here to make things I've right. You, you know? I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kind of like you like this. Far? Far? You act like I'm a turn-off, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student. And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. You're going out with someone else. I bet I can make you forget it. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Hey, nothing is wrong with some jazz. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees. Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. So... Jennifer. Uh huh. What do you think of me? I don't. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV and the radio and the newspapers and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll. And they say it'll make us all happy and well adjusted, which is why I'm going to stay clear of it. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. 
Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks, okay, about, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. My mom and dad. My mom and dad. What about them? What about them? Would you say they're, you say they're normal? normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. yeah. In other words, they're beyond warped repair. beyond repair. Sorry to, be to Sorry to be the one to break it to you. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think, Don't about, even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? You? Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think, but after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple of years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. This ban on public displays of infection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favorite legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! This law against public kissing is a load of bull, yeah, right? This is yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest. That's Protest. What? That's what? Let's go stage a public kiss in. Let's not and say we did. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. Oh, lighten up. You know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Kinda, yeah. Kinda, and yeah. You and you strike me as somebody who would turn like in somebody like me. Next topic. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about, about breaking the rules. Wuss. Your paint's starting Your paint's to streak. Starting to streak. Ah. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. That junk looks awfully that familiar. Looks awfully familiar. Fifty, years familiar. Fifty years familiar. Must be where Jen keeps, keeps her paints. Locked. Oh, they look like parking tickets. Oh, they look like parking tickets. Do I gotta pay a fine or something? This notebook contains all of Doc's, Doc's notes, notes concerning the time machine. It certainly, it certainly convinces me of Doc's genius. I've also, traveled, I've through also time traveled through time with them. Yeah, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's too. that too. It's just brick another in brick in the wall. Is it? It bricked up the entrance, to the, up the entrance to the old speakeasy. That leads to the soup, that leads to the soup mo. Leeches in there. Leeches in there. I'd here. rather he come out here. So what? Are you out here shopping or something? Shopping? Oh, shopping? Who shops, Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh, for my civic uh, duty. For my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, Mom? I know, Martin. I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? No one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. 
Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give, I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last now week, Mr. and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, actually, I... I know, uh, I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Mom? Is it just me or does Hill Valley feel really strict today? Some might even call it stifling. But you didn't hear that from me. You know, this is something I love about humanity. When people try to control us, we don't like it. So fascism always falls. I like that, you know, that we can't be forced into into some like in into something like this, right? Like even as the state is as powerful as it clearly is here, people don't like it and they push back. Is it true that Biff was responsible for getting dogs outlawed? I think that was all Edna's idea. She's always had a sore spot for dogs. Now your father and I, we love dogs. You do? I didn't know that. How come we never had a dog? We had meant to get one to teach you children about responsibility, but by the time we had you, dogs had already been banned. Now I don't think we'll ever have the chance to raise a puppy. Jeez, Pom, that could be the saddest thing I've ever heard. Biff told me that he got in trouble for public displays of affection. Can you believe it? Sure, things got a little out of control back in the 60s with the free love and all, but now even holding hands will get you a verbal warning. You can't even kiss? Can't even hug. It's barbaric. City Hall treats us like a bunch of children going to the movies. Biff was talking about all the contraband he used to keep. Do you know anything about that? What are you implying, Martin? I'm not implying anything. I just want to know what kind of contraband might still be around. You know, so I can watch out for it. Like a good citizen. Well, I would know about such things. But people still smuggle alcohol in from the next county. I heard the kids at school have been smuggling Xerox copies of Dungeons and Dragons. I bet you'd be into something like that, huh? I'll get back to you on that. All right, all right, let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. I'm having a bad day, Mom. Can I ask you a few things? We all have our share, son. Everyone is treating me like some sort of goody two-shoes, Mom. They're just jealous that you're such a perfect citizen of Hill Valley. Have I always been this way? Always been a perfect little son? Going on 18 years now. What about that time I said fire to the living room? Oh, but you only did that so you could show us the fire retardant you made with your chemistry set. Heavy. Heavy. I, uh, lost my time sheet. What have I got going on this week? Well, Monday is Junior Brown Brigade. Junior what now? And Tuesday is Model UN. Model UN? Mm -hmm. You represent Djibouti. On Wednesday, you'll be overseeing the board game club at the Rex. Okay, okay, I've heard enough. I saw Jennifer earlier today. Oh, Jennifer, what a spunky gal. Are you two patching things up? She totally blew me off. Well, I'm not the world's biggest dating expert, seeing as how I married the first guy to fall from the sky. But maybe you should spend a little less time with your microscope's lamp arm and a little more time tending to her needs. What kind of things is she passionate about, Martin? What are her interests? I don't even know anymore. 
see. All right, all right. Let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. What about you, mom? What about you, mom? What about me? What are you doing out here polishing the statue? I know. I was scheduled to clean the clock this month, but then Needle's mom ate some of that bad tofu that's been going around. So there was some reshuffling in the L Sector duty roster, and here I am. Uh, I kind of wish I was cleaning the clock, though. So much nicer up there without all the cameras. The cameras? Wave to Big Brother, or Big Husband in this case. I saw you talking to Biff about the Citizen Plus program. Biff says I'd be a perfect candidate for it. I know Biff, and if that's what the Citizen Plus program does to people, then you don't want any part of it. But Biff has been reformed. Look at him. He seems so happy now. He's so at peace with this town. What I wouldn't give. He's a total veg, Mom. Your father is always telling me that I don't invest enough in the workings of our great Citizen Brown. Maybe it's time for me to turn a new leaf and just go with the flow. Okay, just hold, okay, off, just hold off for a bit, please. I don't want you doing anything rash. All right, all right, let's talk, all right, about, right, let's talk about something all else. Righty all righty, dear. I feel, like I, don't know anybody. I feel like I don't know anybody anymore. Well, Martin, that could be a sign you need to get out more. Is there any way I could talk, there to, Citizen I could talk to Citizen Brown? Oh, you know how difficult that is, Martin. The great man spends so much time coming up with new rules and demerits that he barely has time to talk to us anymore. I guess that's the price we pay for a safe, happy city. So he doesn't see anyone? Not unless someone starts rolling up the demerits. He still takes a personal interest in those situations. Hmm. And of course you could talk to Mrs. Brown. Clara? No, silly. Edna. Edna Strickland? Mm-hmm. Well, that's bad. Wait, wait, Doc, uh, Citizen, Brown, Citizen is Brown is married to Edna Strickland? They do get a bump on the head or something. They've been happily married for nearly 40 years. In fact, if you ask me, I think Edna wears the pants in the relationship. She's the one always announcing the day-to-day -day bulletins. Probably writes them herself. I need to sit down. Biff seems, uh, unusually mellow. Well, he should be. He just finished the Citizen Plus program. So far, it looks like it's done him a world of good. You don't think he seems a bit off? I mean, he's so unbiff. Well, isn't that the point? You remember what he used to be like? He was an unholy terror. He wasn't that bad. Now, sure. But you should have seen him in high school. I, uh, I, I can imagine. Yeah, I mean, he tried to sexually assault you, Lorraine. So, he was pretty bad. He also turned Hill Valley into... Mm, yeah, so anyways, he's bad. He's very bad. What do you think of Jennifer, Mom? Well, she, well, she looked certainly like looked like quite a handful, I dear. Really I was really hoping some of her, uh, joie de vie would have rubbed off on you. What do you mean by that? Well, Martin, you can be a little uptight sometimes. Jeez, don't sugarcoat it, Mom. Well, maybe you needed to hear it. There's nothing wrong with having priorities in life. Just maybe Jennifer should have been a little higher on your list. Yeah, she should. Well, you did buy that guitar. That's a step in the right direction. Women love musicians. Just keep practicing. I'm sure you'll get better. What are you talking about? I'm a great musician. That's the spirit. Jen's dad doesn't seem to like me very much. He's just a little stressed out, dear. Filling the crime-stomping shoes of his legendary father makes poor Danny Jr. a little twitchy. So I see. But he gets the job done. Between him and his father, Hill Valley's been as dry as the Sahara Desert for decades now. Unfortunately. Dry? Doc was right. We did overdo it. All right, all right, let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. That is some hard rain. Well, 
it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. Peeping Tom. Dad, ah, Dad. Try, to warn, your try to warn your old man the next time, okay? Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... A certain girl is only gonna like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little hellion? She's nothing but trouble. Yeah, my kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only gonna drive her further up. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Nice. We didn't have a computer in the other timeline. Uh, uh, well, no joystick. That's lame. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Interesting. What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's... Problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? You are way off here. Mom isn't a... I don't know for sure that your mother is relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um, I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown. It's not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality. But... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. The great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over at Fairfax. Host of Citizen Brown, beloved courthouse, struck by lightning. And your uncle. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown should kiss my hairy 
Well, hell, you get the idea. It sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Okay, so, here's the thing. That is some very bad weather out there. And I am somewhat concerned that at some point, the power might go out. So, I'm going to save and stop streaming before that happens. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. Yeah. Uh, thank you to everyone who wasn't wasn't here. Uh, extra special thank you to Len for hanging out with me. And uh, I'll see you all very soon. Toodles.